Welcome to this tutorial by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a realistic rock texture. So to start us off, you need to select your foreground and background colors. So you're going to want for your foreground just kind of a lighter gray color. Just click OK. And then for your background, you're going to select a darker color, something closer to black here. So now that I have those selected, I'm going to go to Filter, Render, and then Clouds. And that just renders these foreground and background colors as clouds on the document. So what we're going to do now is go to Filter, and then Noise, and Add Noise. And your settings should be 3% for Amount, and Gaussian should be checked, and so should Monochromatic. So just click OK. Now we're going to add a channel so that we can use lighting effects later. So click on your Channels window. If you don't have that out, you can go to Window, and then Channels, so that you can get that uh, to where you can add one. And then click down here on this tab, and it will add a channel. So you have a little, our black uh, channel now. So click on Filter, then Render, and then Difference Clouds. So we're just going to keep doing that until we get a uh, until we get black and white kind of evenly spaced out. It looks pretty good. There's black, and then there's white, and it's kind of spread out across the uh, area here. So that's good. So now, now we're going to filter and then add some more noise, but with the same settings as earlier, but we're going to fade it by going to edit and then fade add noise by 50%. And then we're going to click OK. So now we can go back to our original layer here and just by going back to your layers and then clicking on it. So we're back in the original and what we need to do now is go to filter and then render and then lighting effects. And when you first start out, you're not really going to be able to see very much of a difference. You're just going to kind of turn your lighting effects around, and then you're kind of going to spread it out because it'll be kind of harsh. You can actually turn the uh, intensity down some if it's too bright. You might need to spread it out a little bit. You can play around with the lighting effects, but the most important part is down here where it says texture channel. You want to set that to alpha 1, which was the texture that we created. So you're going to click OK once you have it uh, ready. And now you can see that we have a really nice rock texture and there's different grooves and bumps and all the noise came out as little bumps and an uneven kind of surface on the rock. So this is a way you can make a pretty, uh, pretty nice rock texture. Um, if you wanted to use a brown one or if you wanted to use like an orange color you could simulate gold or something in the rock. Um, but this is pretty much uh, the basic rock texture. You can take it further if you want. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you next week. Thanks.